Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy This Promo. Today we'll be talking about the updated game launcher on your Samsung Galaxy devices. So first off, what exactly is game launcher? It's a folder that is created, which gives you a bunch of statistics and information about the games you play, more games that you can download, some tips, and really so much more. But really the main thing about it is that it puts all of your games into one location and is able to hide the rest of them from your home screens as well as your application tree. Right. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jamia's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10, the S10, the S10 Plus, and older Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, in order for you to download game launchers, you want to pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and scroll down to where it says advanced features. So underneath advanced features, you're gonna scroll down even more, and this is where you can see the option right here for game launcher. So if I was to turn it off here, this will also give you that little description of it, organize all your games in all in one place, access extreme features or extra features that enhance your gameplay and experience. So once you turn it on, then it's gonna ask you if you'd like to have this icon on your home screen, you might as well just add it there. Uh, and then right over here on the second page, you're gonna move this over into really wherever you want it to go. Mine is usually right there. And then this is where you can state yes to hide all of the games. So this way everything is in one location and it's not through your home screens or the application folder. So going through the flow of this application, we'll first go through the main page and everything that it offers. Then we'll go to the icons on the top, what do they mean, and also go through some of the settings. And then we'll go down into library and go through some of the things here, especially these little small settings. Now, first off with the user experience, what you're gonna see is a total playtime. Now, this is the total time that you've played this application or game ever since it's been downloaded to your phone. So the entire life of this application, in terms of Toon Blast, I played for 13 hours and 12 minutes. The last time I played it was 18 minutes ago, but it was for zero minutes. I literally just opened it up and that was really it. But yesterday I played for 31 minutes. Two days ago, I played for an hour, but the average Galaxy Gamer plays this one for about seven minutes. Then when you go through, it's just gonna really show you your main five applications that you've last played. So for example, Mr. Bullet was uh, the total play time for forever of the download of this application has been seven hours and 17 minutes. The last time I played it was on the 8th and it shows you that I didn't play it for the last three days, obviously, since it's been quite a while. Uh, so for this game right here, my total play time forever has been six, six minutes. Uh, this one's been for 30 minutes. Uh, and so really, it just kind of gives you some really cool you know, information about all of this stuff. Now, as you scroll on down, this is gonna show you some more information about the Galaxy Gamer. So for the last seven days, it's gonna show you how many minutes or either millions of people's been playing games. So it looks like three days ago, uh, 2.03M, which I'm guessing is million users. Uh, so this is the amount of gamers that has been playing on the phones. Uh, you also have some YouTube search results. If you wanna see more, you can click on more and it's gonna show you more of you know, something that's probably gonna be relating to you based on these games. Uh, then you also have daily game rankings, so you can check out uh, what is some of the most daily played games. So in terms of all the Galaxy users in the United States, uh, the most gameplay is gonna be Pokemon Go, Candy Crush, uh, then you're gonna have you know wordscapes clash of clans and then just kind of goes on and and everything else so it's a way that you're able to also discover other games to play now on the top what this little uh um, button right here means for the the sound or audio is that you're able to turn off the game sounds and again if you don't remember what it is just do a press and hold and it'll actually show you what it means uh, and right here also again this just means more options uh, so if you have the S Pen for the Note series, you just hover the S Pen and it will tell you those little things of what those mean. So here is the play history. Underneath the play history, it gives you a lot of information. And so there's 20 different games that's on this phone. Um, there's three of them that are arcade and sports and so on and so forth. It kind of goes through, you know, other is seven of them and it shows how much of my time played per each thing. So 15% of my time is playing puzzles. Um, you know, playing action is gonna be 10% of my gameplay. 
Down here, it shows everything. Uh, if you want to see for the last 30 days, if you want to see it for the last uh, seven days. So Pokemon Go has been played for six hours. Toon Blast has been two and a half. Prime Peaks has been 27 minutes. And, and then the rest is really uh, not much because for the last seven days, I didn't play really anything. It's really mostly just these two games. Uh, this one was just kind of testing it out and, and seeing if it was fun or not. And then uh, that right there was pretty much everything underneath play history. You can also go underneath the game performance so you can get the best possible performance as you play games. Uh, you can also do individual game settings. So if there's particular games you want to have more you know, performance, uh, then you can do it that way. Or if there's a game you wanna have a little bit more of power saving, then you can turn those on per each application, which is actually pretty sweet. Uh, announcements just kind of let you know that this is when, you know, hey, the new game launcher 4.0, uh, and this one came out pretty much about a month ago. Um, and so it just kind of depends on when you got the notification, when you noticed that it was able to be updated and so on and so forth. So here's the rest of the settings here. You can hide games on the home and apps. So this one is one of those that's the main benefit of having the, the game launcher is that all your games is in one location, not filling up your application tray. You can also save mobile data by uh, don't autoplay videos when Wi-Fi isn't connected. Uh, so through this app, you saw that there was a video that was playing towards the bottom. Uh, you can have it to where it would not play it, you know, if you were on your mobile data and then all the rest of your settings to go through. So now that we've gone through pretty much everything on this main homepage, you can go through. Some of this will also change and update. We went through the settings on the top. Now let's pull up the library. So there's a few things you can change for your settings of the library. So you can set the location of new games. So every single time that you download a new game, do you want it to show it up at the end? or do you want it to show at the beginning? So it's kind of a way that you're able to say, oh, I just downloaded a game and I want it to be on the top because it's brand new. The other thing you can do is you can press and hold and you can also move these around. So if you do want to put them in a specific order, you can do it that way. Underneath that, you can show the library on startup. So when you first open up Game Launcher, do you want it to show at the bottom of the screen like it does now? Um, or do you want it to show in full screen? Meaning the moment you open up the game launcher, you can have it to where it only shows in uh, the full screen. So the moment, let's say that I get out of this, uh, when I open up game launcher, it's gonna pop this up instantly and then I can go through on the very top. But for me, um, I kind of like it being on the bottom. So this way, every single time you open it up, it'll always be on the bottom. So you more than likely are just gonna see your main five applications that you play anyways. Now underneath here, you can add more applications and you can sort the game. So you can have it to where it's sorted, um, you know, via the, the recently installed, the alphabetical or recently played. So if you put recently played, uh, then it's gonna show your main five applications of what you've recently played, which is again, those main five on the top. Um, or what you can do is you can sort the games and you can put it as what was most recently installed. So you can see what has been installed. So it looks like Candy Crush was first. This one was already pre-installed. Then I went Toon Blast, then Pokemon Go, then PUBG, and then it just you know goes on and on and on. But you know more than likely you probably want to have it as whatever is most recently installed or recently played. So this way it's super simple for you. You can get to that fast game you just downloaded or get to those games really quick that you play all the time. So this was really the updated version of Game Launcher. So if you've never really turned this on, that is what Game Launcher does. It puts it all into one location. And then also don't forget that when you do play a game through the Game Launcher, that you also do have game tools that's on the bottom of the phone. So underneath the game tools, you'd be able to go underneath here uh, and you can go inside and you can go through all the different settings, advanced game features, you can block things, um, and you can also lock the screen. So this way, if you wanna put it in your pocket and you don't really wanna turn off your phone, then you're gonna just have a locked screen. The only way that you're able to interact is by unlocking it right there. So it's a really nice thing to have. You have your, uh, your game launcher along with game tools. They all work together. You're not gonna be flooding all of your application tray and the home screens. So it's gonna keep everything really clean and put into one folder for you and also a way to you know check out everything and discover more games and videos and and things like that but other than that i hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe you subscribe right over here the very bottom left hand side this little circle share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and other than that i'll see you guys later